was hanging out with a chick was beautiful. Like this was years ago, really beautiful. And she was like, and she said something. She goes, yeah, man, it was sick. And I go, and I was like, oh, that's like the worst thing to do. Should have introduced her to me. I got the ick, dude. We would have had it. Fucking sick. We, and I got We're the, on the couch. And I got the ick. We're on the couch together. And she goes, yeah, it was sick. And I go, and my penis goes, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Runk. <laughs> Good job, man. You got a dog on your lap. Dude. You ever think about how you have a dog on your lap and it's so close because he's touching, your genitals are touching? Basically, only there's a sheet. I've straight up never once thought about Me that. Me neither. Me neither. I brought it up because I was wondering if you thought of that. When she rolls over mm -hmm. and I happen to see it, mm -hmm. uh, all I ever think, mm -hmm. Billy, my old dog, mm -hmm. fans of mine will from back in the day will absolutely know Billy. Billy's the queen, we the know legend. Billy. Pisses me off that Anthony's in the bathroom and flushes the toilet, but... Well, nobody will hear that. Uh, I know, but I heard it, and that's okay. what matters. So anyway, Billy. Yeah. Um, so when she would roll over, especially, but Charlie too, mm -hmm. and I would see it, mm -hmm. uh, I would just think, well, my, that's a, that looks like a calamari. Okay. Because it so. looks so much like a calamari mm -hmm. and nothing else. You got problems. Because it does... <laughs> no, I, I don't have problems. Mm. Oh. Because you're the one that does, because you think about the other thing that you said in the beginning. Sure, right. I don't have problems because... All I do uh -huh. is see with my eyes. Uh -huh. My eyes make a connection to a thing that it looks like mm -hmm. more than the thing that it actually mm -hmm. is. So boring. Which is calamari. So boring the way you broke it down. I love the calamari. What's that? Wait, what's that from? Wait, what's that from? I love the calamari. Wait, what's it's that from? It's when Ray Winston's doing the best I think ever in Sexy Beast. When he first hears Don oh, Logan man. is coming into town. And he's just like... I love the calamari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Dude. good. <laughs> I just did so good too. Ray Winston. I, I just did so good okay. too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ray Winston is the guy from Pull Him Up. He's the guy from. He's the best. No, the That's best you know. is. Tim Daly. No, the best is. Yeah, Ray was is amazing. Yeah. He's so good. Yeah. But you, the, you, you plebeians out there would know him from The Departed probably. Plebeians, you know. But, but, uh, but, but the best is, and I always forget his name. God, I always forget his name. And he is legit the best actor who is like him. Uh, is Is you going to say Jason Isaacs? No, Tom. He's great. But Tom Cruise, Wilkinson. Tom Cruise. Oh, Tom Wilkinson. Yeah, he's amazing. He's the greatest yeah. actor. Yeah, he's amazing. You know what he has a small part in, but is just so what? amazing in? Batman. And I know what you're going to say, too. After I say this, okay. the Ghost Rider. Oh, uh, with Nicolas Cage. Knew it. Uh, <laughs> knew it. Nope. The Roman Plans movie he, with Ewan McGregor. What superhero is he? <laughs> Ray Winston is amazing. He was in Batman, and he played a guy from Brooklyn. Uh, Ray Winston did? No, yeah, he, Tom Wilkinson. No, no, I'm sorry, Tom Wilkinson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tom Wilkinson uh, is amazing. In the Batman with not Dude, do you one. remember that old, really old, like, OG trans movie that he was in? He he Him? played a guy, I believe. I never saw it, but I remember the trailer so well. Mm. Like, this isn't, like, in the maybe early aughts or even late 90s. Mm -hmm. He played, like, a normal family man. Who comes out oh, as someone who is it? I don't know if he's trans, but he like in the loves bedroom or whatever. No, no, quiet that, in the bedroom. No, that's just a great movie that he's in. Oh, he's in this that, is right? this was an HBO movie with him and like I think it might have, I want to say Jessica Lang, no, but I'm know. not sure. It was a TV movie back before Got TV yeah, movies were like before they were the th thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, um, all right. Listen, guys, uh, did we make a uh, big enough deal about Charlie though? No, we we did. But okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I like Charlie. Charlie's okay. great. She's great. Charlie's Go great. Go to the obviously the thing, so we can talk about the thing. We got a Patreon uh, up and running now. We're starting to drop episodes uh, in May. Uh, in, oh, May, May twenty first. Uh, Patreon dot com slash Lifeline Luxury. No, 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 no. You're doing this wrong. You're doing it so wrong. Dude. How am I doing it? Tell oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay, just cut that out, or or leave it. We, we don't, don't care. care. Um, June uh, June is when it starts, right? This episode comes out, hi, it's May 21st. And uh, patreon.com slash lifeline luxury. The Patreon episodes drop June 4th. starting June 4th. Um, so you can go to uh, Patreon, get signed up. We do at least two a month uh, episodes that are at least 30 minutes long of Matt and I just bantering because I know that that's what a lot of the fans want. Uh, no videos, no calls, or anything like that. So it's just us, brotherly love, lifeline luxury, patreon.com slash lifeline luxury. And uh, 
So sign up today. Uh, I'm on tour, chrislea.com. Go to Hit Thumb Cities. Uh, and then we can go, uh, Matt, you got what? I got my own solo one-on-one. I'm helping people out in the world, man. They okay. reach out to me. They say, hey, Matt, I need you. I beg of you. Help me. And I say, that's not a problem because mm-hmm. I got help. Tons of help to give. Tons okay. of love to give. Tons of everything to give. Wow. Frank, frankly, uh, you can make your own appointment mm-hmm. with me at mm-hmm. mattdelia.com. Baby, baby, pimp, 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 bad about it. Uh, yeah. Or you can leave us a message on the hotline, 213-973-8095 or... Uh, Send in a video. If you have a question, watch lifeline.com. And merch, lifeline, merch.com. Whatever. We got it going. You know what I mean? But I do, yeah. So yeah, I, was, nice. I was just checking my fantasy baseball, yeah. Oh, that's important, dude. Yeah. So why do you do fantasy baseball? Uh, well, first of all, mm-hmm. I love baseball. There's that. Okay, there you go. But that's not the reason I no, do okay. it. Because a lot of people who love baseball are like, you play fantasy? What a loser. And right. I say, I'm not a loser. And then, how do, then what happens? And then I slap them with a glove. Not so with my hand. Glove around? Yeah, I bring a glove and I go. Tsh. You take it off first, dude. <laughs> Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Remember that? Tsh. Was that what that's from? No, you get slapped with a glove and then he takes the armor glove and slaps. Oh him. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I can't believe I remember that. Good. And I, I, uh, I, I, I can't believe I remember that to be honest. So I play fantasy baseball I can't because I remember it more than you can't believe I remember it. It's like it brings me such joy. Mm-hmm. Now okay. I don't want to dig deep on why. Okay. Because right. it's going to start to piss me off because I'm going to get close to my feelings in a way that I'm not comfortable yet. Let me think about it. Bring it back next week. We'll talk more about it. Okay? About why you like fantasy football? I'll examine my feelings. Fast baseball? Oops, you said it. You didn't even get it right the second time. <laughs> fantasy football, basket, baseball. Well, there there is fantasy all of them. Yeah, sports, for sure. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I used to do all of them. I'm into fantasy tennis. <laughs> that, I bet it exists, actually. But how? It's just one person. Yeah, but you can do it like... As a group? I got Pete have, Sampras. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, so old, you know? Dude, Pete I got Sampras Jennifer is, Capriati. Oh, my God. Wow. Remember when Monica Seles got stabbed on the court? No. That was crazy. I don't dude. remember that movie. Monica that Seles movie, was the remember. coolest. She would go, Argh! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. would hit the ball, you know? Yep. Dude, if I was a tennis player, uh oh. Oh, my God. I, I wish sometimes, I, this is why I'm a comedian, but I wish I was, I, I wish I was something else sometimes so I could do it the funniest way. But you would be so bad, no one would. That's no, the catch. Allow right? you into tournaments. I know. Well, no. If I was a, if I was as good of a tennis player as I, I am comedian, yeah. I'd be oh, ranked. Well, sure, yeah. Okay? okay. So I would be I would be the guy who would go, Oh no right. when I do it. Okay. Uh oh. That would be so dope. Yeah, you would get famous because players that are like a little bit more bombastic yeah. and look at me than others definitely don't have don't have to be as good yeah. if they're like Cause look, I watchable. Wouldn't, I wouldn't be the number one tennis player. I would be whatever number I am comedian, but I would be like, Oh no. Oh, well, that's not that entertaining. Just to oh, say, it oh, is. No, really loud, Are you, you kidding know? me? I don't think. Oops! You... Ah, shint. I could shint. Have wow, shint. You know. Upsy Daisy. Let's Sh- see you handle that one. Wow. That'd be me. Yelling so loud. But that, but well, you'd have to be because so everyone in Wimbledon could hear it. Is it hard to mix these episodes because Chris is yelling so much? No. no? Okay. Slammed you. So- <laughs> uh oh! Here we go. And up and at him, dude. Wow. When I slam- wasting I mean, so much energy on the court. I know. You know. That's the thing. Maybe I make it shorter. Yeah. That's why it's. That's why the players that do do that are just like, because it's quick. Yeah, and it's just oh, yeah, one cinchy. Wow, because you know what that means. A cinch. Simple, yeah. Yeah. Simple. All in a day's work, dude. I would be. You know how many endorsement deals I'd have? You probably people probably think you're absolutely crazy, but that's okay. But then I would sit and I would do regular interviews, like uh, and the, behind the what do they call it post game shit, and I would just be like. Yeah, no, it's just, you know, that's how I do it. I'm, you know, I, I, I got to do it because that's, that's it, man. You know, and people will be like, all right, well, he's not crazy. Mm. It's a cinch. It's a cinch. And then that would be a shirt, dude. I'm the man. There's wow. a guy like that right now. Who, right, yeah, well, who is that guy? Who is I was it? just thinking about that. Who is that guy? Nick Kyrgios. And what does he do? He's very bombastic, loud, does funny things during the thing. And, and where's he like from again? What? And he's from uh, Australia. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, of Greek descent. I Thing. Yeah, yeah he's like yeah. kind of cool looking too, right? Yeah, he's cool. Yeah. I like to see him try to do stand up. But anyway, then. <laughs> but, but exactly to your point, he's he hasn't won a whole lot of like he's really good. Yeah, of so course he's he ranked. is. But um, yeah, he hasn't been winning, but he's so everybody wants to watch him. There you go. Well, people don't do that because they think the game is pure. Hey, uh, this is what I say to that. Hey, dude, you're still hitting the ball around. There's a huge argument in most sports, but yeah. right now in baseball because it's kind of still the most old fashioned right. in a way. Right. Well, tennis is, but yeah. Uh, yeah, true. Right, right. But the uh, uh, American major sports, ones, yeah. yeah. Uh, but 
like the bat flips yeah. and the right. really exuberant celebrations. Yeah. Old school players are like, that's not how you play the game. Right. It's like, do you want people to watch it? Fans to just go away. Yeah, it's crazy. Do you want to get new fans? Because new fans will come when players are going crazy and doing funny, interesting stuff. Yep. Not just hitting a home run to win the game and they just like trot around the bases and then go home. You yeah. got to do a cool bat flip. You got to like do something to the fans, whether you're at home, you like pump them up, you're away, you give them the bird, whatever, you know? Yep. Yeah. Dude, you can't even see Charlie on my lap right now, but her entire fat, hot body is on my you lap. You can see her. You can see. Oh, there's. Oh, her butt, dude. That's hilarious. Only her butt is protruding. I can see her whole back. You're wrong. Oh, uh, you're blind. So. Oh, I, oh no, that's just her butt. That's okay. just her butt. All right. Well. I can so see. you're pissing me off. So. No, I can see her. her, her yeah, because you're her behind the table. Okay. No, I can see it on the screen. Is what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah, that's the that guy way. I was thinking of. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? The guy that you mentioned? What do you mean? That's the guy you were thinking of? You said the guy, and he googled the guy. No, he said the guy. And I, I said, oh. I think I know that guy. Oh, nice, nice, Water, nice, right? nice, nice. All right, so um, so that's cool. If I was a tennis player, that's how I would be. Okay. Now that we've established that, should we get going? Okay. I, you know, I got most improved when I was in when I was 12 years old doing, playing tennis. It's just because you were so bad. You had a big I was so bad. way to go. I was so, so bad. And I got most improved. <laughs> but I got most improved legit. I didn't get most improved like it wasn't Mr. Mr. Hustle. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got most improved because it was legit, dude. I was a, I was a real, uh, <laughs> I was a really good tennis player as a kid. Remember they'd give everybody Mr. Hustle? Oh, dude, yeah. They suck. Uh, nobody wanted it. If you got yeah. Mr. Hustle, yep. everyone would tease you. I got it once in basketball, but it's just like... <laughs> dude, it's just like... B highest scorer, greatest player, mm -hmm. most rebounds, mm -hmm. and seven Mr. Hustles. Dude, you know what? I have... All, a, the, all, all the Asian kids and shit and me. I hold a record at our high school that mm -hmm. we both went to. Mm -hmm. Basketball record, not even mm -hmm. a baseball record. Mm -hmm. But basketball, I took the most three pointers ever in a season, and also missed by far the most three pointers ever taken in a That's season. That's a horrible record. Isn't that crazy? Is it up in like the locker rooms? Well, no one would ever. <laughs> they don't put the shameful I know, records, I know, I know, I know. but I wish they. I wish it was. Yeah, that'd be amazing. But yeah, I, I shot like 70, <laughs> 73, 77 threes. That's too many. And made eleven. Oh my god! Yeah. So. Not All right, well, good. look, if you you like the banter, go on over to Lifeline Luxury, patreon.com slash Lifeline Luxury, and uh, get on our Patreon. Uh, we dropped that, start dropping the episodes uh, June uh, 4th. So, uh, right, let's get into the show, though, huh? Let's mm -hmm. get into the show, Lifeline, the mm -hmm. OG Lifeline. Let's get into it. Let's see what you got here. Harley Quinn. Hey, guys. Uh, my name is Alyssa. I live in Florida, and I'm 25 years old. That hair is so good. Um, yeah. I work in window tinning. It's basically your um, hair. It is, yeah. Oh, nice. As you can see. Here. Um, and... Because I'm a girl, I get guys that come into my store that talk to me like I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, fun. Or they just try to bypass me and go straight to my boss. Um, oh, a lot God. of times I get guys that just don't want to deal with me at all. Mm. Um, so I'm looking for some spin moves um, because mm. I don't really know how to handle these situations until after people have already left. Mm. Um, so because then my, you know your brain starts going and sure, you think yeah, of sure. shit that you could have said that you didn't um so i'm just looking for some stuff to keep in the arsenal to hit them with you know anything would be appreciated oh, um wow, love you so much one. chris you were awesome in lakeland thank you for uh, fucking coming to lakeland yeah <laughs> um, and i'll see you in fort myers hell yeah dude oh cool i love uh yeah that's actually amazing, yeah. the lakeland show was f so fun um, it was off the ch off, off the chain i was gonna say it was fire no, don't ever say that. Well, because I'm 43. No, just because no. If a no one's allowed to say, say you that. think it's. Oh, it's fire. Every time somebody says that's fire, I think dumb. Okay, well, I didn't say it. No, I know. So that's why I said dumb. good. But even if I did say it, it would. I, I think smart. dumb for different reasons about you. Okay. Um. Um. So I. Very rude. That's that's hard because, to me, obviously I'm wrong, but to me in my two mind, two plus two is seven. Even, <laughs> even shitty chauvinistic men wouldn't be like that about window tinting in my mind but like yeah, yeah obviously yeah. i'm wrong yeah and that doesn't that doesn't like shock me but it's still kind of like that seems weird because it's you're not better or worse at really like window tinting is not doesn't require anything per particularly uniquely, it's a skill that you learn but it's not particularly uniquely male in any way oh got it and yeah so that those maybe guys because it's a car thing guys think it's a car thing maybe which which is stupid, but I'm yeah, just trying to... Yeah, it is stupid, yeah. But but it's like... Like the whole muscle car tinted kind of... I don't know. I, I, guess the, I guess the thing would be something about that, but you don't want to go and get fired, dude. So like, 
you don't want to come at them too hard because you're going to potentially lose a customer and then your boss is yeah. going to get mad. So you got to kind of be like maybe passive aggressive about it in a, yeah. in, in a funny way. Yeah. But like just take him to task in a way that's like kind of like not cutting off his balls, but putting them in a vice. You go like this. Metaphorically. Yeah. You want to see my manager. Wait, what is, by the way, she's, would they ask for the boss or uh, what? Her boss? Her boss, yeah. You want to see my boss just because I don't have a penis. I mean, that might be good. Or here's here's what I really think you should do. Honestly, this yeah, is what you really should good, do. Yeah. Um, talk to your boss about it. Ooh, that's good. And say, hey, listen, this happens a lot. That's good. Can you have my back? Yeah. Back me up when this happens. Yeah. Right? Because then the boss comes out and says, hey, what's going on? And they say, well, I wanted to do this and that. And she says, well, what's wrong with her handling it? She can handle it. Right. Because right. if I was your boss Ooh. and you told me that, I would love to do that to someone. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's the move. If That's you're, good. even if you're, if I would say, if you're tight with your boss, cool. Even if you're not, it's yeah. cool because like, dude, that's so annoying, you know? And your boss will agree. Your boss hired you. Yeah. It, so uh, like. Unless he's a piece of shit. And if he's a piece of shit, then you got a whole nother issue there. But. But it's right. I would, be, yeah, I would imagine you, right? he's yeah. not a piece of shit in that regard. Yeah. All other hired. piece of shitness is on the table, but yeah. I, I would piece venture to guess he's not sexist because he hired you. Right. True. So, true. uh, I would imagine he would be receptive to that. Yeah. Uh, in 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 the first place so mm -hmm. that's a good idea uh, yeah that, you almost never have the right i pretty idea. much have the most fire ideas wow and that idea was super fire that was good all right okay. yeah good cool there we go hey chris you know what what uh wellness is more than just about nutrition and exercise it's all it's what's it about it's physical it's mental and emotional Okay, so sleep. So you're saying so sleep, stress management, and mindfulness are all important aspects of wellness, they right? They are, and this is why Next Evo CBD products are where it's at. Do your research before you buy means making better informed choices, especially when it comes to stress or sleep products like CBD. Did you know that a study by an independent lab confirmed some brands contain up to 60% less CBD than they claim to on the label? But with Next Evo Naturals, you can trust you're getting the best of the best. As the most clinically studied CBD brand on the market, do you understand that? Next Evo, the most, wow. the most clinically studied CBD brand on the market, uh, Next Evo takes research to the next level. Great to relieve stress. Great to pop and then get in bed and have a great night's sleep. I know that you've done that. Uh, wake up feeling what? Refreshed and well rested, there you which go. is rare enough. You, doing it on your own stuff, using this is great. Mm -hmm. Vegan, GMO free, gluten free, THC free capsules and gummies derived from 100% US grown hemp. Upgrade your CBD. Go to nextevo.com slash lifeline to get 20% off your first order of $40 or more. That's 20% off $40 or more at nextevo.com slash lifeline. Let's see what's up with oh, this guy with the condom. Guys. Oh, nice, start by saying, nice hoodie. Uh, started over, obviously, because we're talking and started over. Wow. And here we go. They've got a condom for a hat and the hoodie. Handsome. Me, I am. No, him. Okay. What's going on, guys? I uh, just want to start by saying that I love you guys' relationship as brothers. Hey, My brother wasn't around too much growing up, so I get to live vicariously Aww. through you guys, and it, it fucking rules. That's cool. Um, That's sweet. My wife takes too many pictures. Wow, Bottom right Bottom line, uh, we go on a walk. <laughs> she takes 50 pictures. That's hilarious. Uh, she's editing the pictures while we're walking. Mm. You know, uh, We go to a restaurant. We do whatever. She's taking a million pictures. Mm -hmm. oh. And I'm not really... I don't like taking pictures. I never have. I'm not really a smiley kind of guy. Um, I mean, I smile, of course, but like when it right. comes to pictures, I just never feel Fake like smile. taking them. It's not good. Yeah. I'm a very in the moment, just be there and remember it later. I don't need a picture for it. Uh, am I being a dick? Let me know. Uh, Chris been a fan since Midwest City, Oklahoma, years ago. Matt, your style oh, is impeccable. I remember that. I fucking love you guys. I'm glad I called him handsome at the top because he complimented me at the end. What do you think he is out of 10? An eight? That, oh, I would say eight and a half. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm. That's a handsome guy. Because you know what I am. You're like a se se six no. and a half. That's seven. Crazy. You're like a seven. That is. No. You, that's a low key crazy. I'm no, fire. You you should agree with that. Seven, seven is good. It's not. It's okay, bro. But when you. It's not a D. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a C. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's not a D. So listen. Uh, I don't think you're a dick. I, I have a no. whole thing where. Look, I'm much happier these days. Like when I'm with my family, 
and shit and we're taking pictures. I actually feel happy, so I'll smile. But I used to be on that shit where it's like, dude, I'm not going to smile unless I'm happy. You want to remember the time the way it was. You don't want to look back on all these pictures and you're just in every picture like this. It's sure, like, yeah. It's like well, this guy was just always happy. Well, that's why I don't, I don't like posed. Right, posed shirt. pictures, yeah. That's why if, if she's just taking pictures, I was going to say this actually, but continue when I'm no, done. No, go ahead. When you're just taking pictures of what's going on, yeah, doesn't bother me. When you're like needing to stop the moments, yeah, that's and pose, horrific. That's uh, every it ruins everything. And like, yeah. maybe just wait to the end. Ask her to like wait till something's nearing an end to like yeah. get all the photos that we're all gonna get together. Yeah, or get them out of the way in the beginning. Don't like yeah. do it throughout. Uh, also, the editing while you're after, uh, yeah, after you're, you've taken them while you're out yeah. still. You gotta. She's got to compromise. No photo editing until right. she gets home. A photo edit when you're at home. Yeah, doing your own thing. Yeah, that's not a, a group activity or a or a couple activity. Yeah, then she's literally being antisocial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking photos is still a social thing to do. Making people pose for a photo more than like once. I get it if you want to do it once, that's fine. But it, it, that's like you're basically that's a smaller version of the guy at the party with who wants to play the guitar. You're like, oh, it's oh not now that we're doing bad, it. dude. It's a smaller version. I said. Yeah, but you shouldn't. It's not even the same ball. It's not even the same. I was going to say ballpark. It's not even the same ball game. Yeah, but it's a, it's a smaller version of that because you have to stop what you're doing and do that then. Much smaller. You should say much. If you said much okay, smaller. So because I didn't say the word much, you're going to get on me for that? I am. That's crazy, bro. I am. And all the calamari. Dude, you know what's weird is it's really uh, nice that people say, they do say that they live vicariously through us as brothers like that. And what is that? I know what vicarious means. Oh, I know for sure. But like they didn't have their relationship with their brother like that? What they're saying yeah. is that they have a sibling. Mm -hmm. I think you know women say it too about their sisters yeah, yeah, yeah. and brothers. Yeah, uh, it reminds them of them. No, it it, it they weren't close, mm -hmm. as he said. They they weren't mm -hmm. that close with their sibling growing up, and they always wished they were. Mm -hmm. Not like one really wanted to be all the time with the sibling and the other one didn't. Yeah, it's just like that closeness isn't initially there. Yeah. And they wish that they were naturally closer with their sibling is mm. my sense of what they're talking about, mm -hmm. uh, which I actually have evolving thoughts on this. Like I, I know what people mean when they say that, but what I've realized as I've gone on in years is like most people straight up most by a good amount don't have a good relationship, not just with their siblings, but with their families in general. Like, they they don't like want to see them over the holidays. Yeah. They don't really want to yeah. call them to check in. It's like so, and I obviously get it, but like yeah. it's I find that very interesting and unfortunate because there's a lot of people like that who really do wish hmm. they uh, had that like natural inkling to want to be close. Yeah. It's like they don't hate their siblings. It's not like they butt heads, but it's like they don't have that thing. You know? Yeah, I really hope that. Uh, I mean, we're really close with our family and all that stuff, and obviously mm -hmm. we're close. Um, William and Calvin, Calvin and William, I, I just think it, I really like, I'm so happy that they have each other and I can't wait for them to have that man. Like, like William is at the point where he just started to open his eyes and stuff and like look around and like smile a little bit. And it's just like today, Calvin came into the room this morning and he, and he, and, um, and I, you know, he was like, <laughs> and why was he doing that? Cause he just in the morning he just does kind of sometimes you like know pouty kind of guy. Yeah, yeah like he's just like i'll go downstairs and um you come come with a good pussy and stuff no no okay. because he's no i'm just checking the man yeah. of the house and so <laughs> i uh so so Kristen was with william already he was like six something mm -hmm. feeding him and i was like come on buddy let's go to your room and i went into his room in his bed and we slept together for another few hours and i i just think it's like it to think that like I get to do that again with William after Calvin gets too old and like I'm going to be with both of them and they're both going to have each other is it's the most beautiful thing, dude. And I, I really wish that people could like have that, you know, and not everybody does, I guess. And, um, you know, we're lucky to have that. At the same time, I think being an only child would be pretty sick. People are always like, I don't think that would be great. I don't know why that like if that's all, you know, and your parents are cool. Yeah, I mean, being chilling, an only child dude. is fine. Getting it all. I'm, Getting I'm, it all, dude. What I'm saying is being close with your sibling versus not being of close course. with your sibling. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. I'm taking it somewhere else, yeah. which is what people do in conversations, which is what this is, which is all good. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah, just tell her, you can't be antisocial. Take pictures, Yeah. you can't be antisocial. And that almost kind of does include 
taking too many posed photos because you're yeah. breaking up yeah, the social yeah, yeah, gathering yeah, yeah. and and ruining it. One time ruining I was laughing it. so hard with three people, like so hard. Like we were having a ball. It was on a plane and then one of the people said, you guys want to play a game? And it ruined everything. You hate games though. Yeah, but it ruined everything. We were laughing, crying, laughing. And she's like, you want to play a game? And we go, oh. And she was to explain some game neither of us knew. And it was like, that. okay, we'll try. And it was so bad, dude. Wow, that's, yeah. Play a game while you're having the best time? That's odd. Yup, dude. What's better? Yeah. Anyway, you want to play Candyland while we're recording? What's better than, what's better? Having sex or having a time where you're just laughing so hard with everyone? Well, because the latter is much, much, much more specific mm -hmm. and guarantees that you're having an insanely mm -hmm. good time, definitely that. Yeah, I agree. So uh, that would be worse than in the middle of sex being like, yo, let's stop and, have a, and play a game. There you go. Well, that, the latter would just be it out. so weird. The first one's weird. The, first the one's latter would weird. be demented, dude. Equally as weird. Just like having sex with your girlfriend, you know? Yeah, and, and then all of a sudden your like, girlfriend's like, I'll have the calamari. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Uh, I'll have the calamari when I have sex with my girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? Disgusting. Yeah. Let's do it. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> hey, guys. What up? This it's your boy so in distressed. the army in the barracks <laughs> with the sweet mate that goes, <clears throat> um, Oh, yeah. What do you say? First of all, I'm... Absolutely he's the guy. Pause it, Chris. Neck in this video. He's the guy who has the roommate that's always hawking. Oh, 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 oh! I remember this yeah. guy. All right, yeah, dude, yeah. dude, from the beginning again. I want to hear it. God, AirPods suck, huh? They do. Hey guys, what up? It's your boy in the army in the barracks with yeah. a sweet mate that goes. <laughs> um, first of all, I'm absolutely pissed that I'm wearing a V-neck in this video, but. It's okay. Besides the point, I okay. took your advice and I confronted nice. there uh, we go. We help. Well, we'll the see. guy it is helpful. in person. It and is. I'm like, hey, you shot him. Uh, clean the bathroom, please. And he goes, all right. Wow. I'm like, okay. That's good. So I give him a few days. Right. Okay. Guess if he does it. Well, he no. Do it. Of course not. So wow. I. That's actually weird. Then man. I type up a note and I print it and I slide it under his door. Okay. Uh, and I give him a few days. Then I run into him in person again. Whoa. And he says, hey, I got your letter. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, uh, I bought a bunch of stuff to clean the bathroom. And oh. I'm like, okay. Okay. <laughs> if I can do it. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he doesn't do it. <laughs> oh, I so, still didn't do it. Okay. What? Now, what do you. I do? Like, like, I know that I can reach out to his commander and be like, yeah. He is dirty. This guy's dirty. Yeah. You know, blah blah. And uh, I don't know. Get him in trouble. But like, I, I also don't want to be a rat. But I don't know how to. I don't know what to do anymore. And sorry if it's windy. But fucking okay. That was a really good submission, man. I like that guy's attitude. I like him too. My favorite guy I've ever known in the army. You're, uh, my, you're my army buddy, and I love you. He was in the army, but okay. Oh, really? So was mom. Actually, no, he was. Mom was in the army. Okay, so my second favorite guy in the army. Um, mom was in the army. She was like, you're in a band, guys. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> uh, with the helmet on. You know? yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, I mean, dude, just you've gone far enough. Just go all the way and be like, use the supplies you bought, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Are you trolling me? Because at this point, it's like he's, he's just like pulling your leg. Like, like you. okay, dude. Hey. You said you bought the stuff. Use it. Yeah. Like everyone does with things they buy. Yeah, man. I don't really know how I feel about this because you, 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 told, him, you told him twice now. And he's on his way to do it. He hasn't done it yet. He says he's got the stuff. So great. I don't believe in being a rat. Yeah, no. But also, if it's not getting done, then what is the... what? what, what you you got to do what I said. You got to say, hey. Yeah. We, this is the third time right, right, right. you went so far as to buy supplies, which I appreciate. Yeah. Now I'm just like, you're not using them. And to, to, to comply with my request, which you said you were going to do, right. you need to use the things you bought. Yeah. Because they don't magically use themselves. Yeah, there you go. That's a good thing to say. Don't say comply, but yeah. Yeah. Com I mean, especially the guy in the army. Yeah, I, that's why I said that. Missed yeah. That. But uh, yeah, men don't like to be told they have to comply. But like he met... If you put it in the context of, yeah. I made a request yeah, 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 and yeah. you said, okay, like, yeah. I comply. Or you, you could like, literally just walk up to him and be like, hey, comply. Right, yeah. That and then hand gangster. him the liquid 409 yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever you have, you know? Yeah. All right, cool.
Wow. Or or look at his supplies, like say it's Liquid 409 oh. or Windex or whatever, and go into his room and, and like look at it and just be like, and like be examining it until he says like, what are you doing? And you're like, oh, it's just weird. It doesn't look like this was, Yeah. the seal is still on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it hasn't even been used. It's to be like, what? Yeah. This doesn't, these don't use, these don't use themselves? Yeah, right, yeah. What the heck? Do you bought all these supplies and they don't yeah. even use themselves? What yeah. the heck's going on? It's almost like somebody needs to use these for the bathroom <laughs> to get clean. What the heck? Wow. You woke up, Charlie. Good job. It's okay. All right. Uh, yeah, next one. Cool. Hey, Chris. Hey, man. How do I get this baby off me? <laughs> um, I had two things I wanted to say. It looks cool. Uh, first cool. of which is, I think, a good entry-level horror movie. Look how cute. Uh, is oh. The Babadook. Oh yeah, because okay. It's, it's good. It has that high tension. Yeah, Babadook is good. And that baby is so cute. It has really good allegory for yeah. Grief you're right. And loss. You're right. And so that creates a nice wow. conversation. I'm pissed. With people I'm pissed. Film. But he's right because I didn't uh, think of it. And it's scary enough where I think it'll sort of get into your head, um, but not too scary to scare people away from the genre. Yeah, yeah, that's a good call. Um, Stop showing yeah, me up though. That, that was uh, no. my input on the topic. Um, second thing. Uh, is about this little guy. Mm, um, so so I just that's a cute kid. I want to avoid him having any food aversions in the future. Mm -hmm. My uh, nephew, he has so many food aversions. He'll only eat like three different foods, and yeah, it's kind of a nightmare. That's so to watch common. Him. Very. Um, this guy will eat anything right now, but okay. including uh, his he's finger. only eight months old. So I'm worried about in the future if he will uh, hate everything like my nephew. I'm um, wondering if any of you guys have any uh, advice on the topic, uh, Matt or Chris, um, because I really want him to have a diverse palate yeah. and enjoy the delicious foods that we enjoy, the spicy food and all that. Give him the spicy right. stuff. Uh, I'm rambling. I love you guys. Um, hope this finds you well, and I hope cool, to hear from dude. you soon. Thanks, man. Um, what a thanks, nice guy. Bud. Yeah. <clears throat> um, it, it, the... That's a real thing, but if honestly, if he's eight months and already eating everything, then it's you're probably safe. Really? Um, was it really? Yeah, like if you're eight months and he's already eating a lot of stuff, that's great. Like Calvin wasn't. Um, Calvin wasn't. And you're saying even at eight months, he was picky. He yeah he really yeah yeah for sure. Well, okay. he, and he's kind of picky. He's picky now. No, I know that. I'm now just saying, is you know. You, it's really good and, and advantageous to sh give them everything early on, like everything, like even like raw fish and just, I mean, everything. They, 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 they might not like it, but they will develop a taste for having a wider range of food that they like. And uh, my son has a fine, okay range. It's not great, but um, we made sure to at least make him kind of, Get him to try. I should say make him, but get him to try a lot of the things um, and even spicy stuff. He likes sushi. Um, huh. Yeah, he does. He, and so, but a lot of times now, if it looks weird, he'll be like, "I don't like that." Mm -hmm. And I was like, "I'm like, buddy, you don't know if you don't like it yet. Can you at least try it?" Because yeah. this thing happened where <laughs> we would use this toothpaste, and then I switched to toothpaste, and he was like, "No, I don't oh. like it." And I was like, "Buddy, you didn't even try it." And we spent like. 10 minutes in his defense even if a new toothpaste is good and i will eventually like it the mm. first time i use it it makes me want to throw up something about new toothpaste weird well i'm not so bad. bad to me uh, okay uh so when you're a kid, i don't but... like it eva yeah um well, so british so i said to him <laughs> i was like buddy try it it took like 10 minutes i was like please just at least try it i give him a little bit and he and he goes like this he goes and he's he literally goes like this i like it oh so <laughs> Now, I mean, it was, uh, it was so funny. And then, so now what I do is, do you remember the toothpaste? Uh -huh. Remember you didn't like it and now, and then you liked it. This is going to be like that most likely. So maybe try it. If you don't like it, then you don't have to eat it. What does he and do? It, and he, and then he, now he's coming around to being like, okay. And he'll go like, you know, and normally he likes it because it's good food. We yeah. order good food yeah, or Kristen yeah, yeah. makes good food. And, um, but sometimes he's just like, no, I don't like it. And then we just say, all right, well, then you don't have to eat it. But it's, you know, it earlier on is the best way to do it. And if you're doing it at eight months and he'll eat anything, then I would venture to say it's probably going to be okay. I would say that it was his nephew. They probably didn't expose him to m many things. Also, I could be wrong with this, but I feel like I've heard that it actually lessens the likelihood of there being stomach problems or even maybe allergies later in yeah. life because 
they're not. Yeah. It's like an- antibodies. Yeah, if they're antibiotics, exposed to it, yeah. antibodies mm-hmm. like you get them if you're slightly exposed to shit. There, there was a study that something like it was, it's like in Israel or something where the the food um, there was a, a like I think it was a peanut allergy that was like very uh, uh, prevalent, uh-huh. and they realized is because they they thought that back way back whenever um, peanuts were bad for children, dude. That's specifically what I had heard. What I just said oh, about really? peanuts. Was they were Israel? like exposed or children to anyway. peanuts. I don't know. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't read that study, yeah. but I had heard that. Yeah. And and then it went away when they started realizing, oh, they're not bad for kids. And then now there's way less of a peanut allergy. Stuff his face with peanuts. Okay, That's well. my advice. Okay, well, it is kind of weird though. If you do have a peanut allergy, you just kind of got to like wait it out. You give it to a baby, and you're like, I hope this is okay. Right, but I think the just point like, is. <laughs> I th- I shouldn't have eaten that. <laughs> the point is that it's likely to lead to them not having an allergy. Right. Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. Next one. I'm I'm good. We're, we're doctors. Yeah. Hey, Chris and Matt. I love you guys. This Hi. is Andy. I have a dating question. Oh, yeah. I was wondering how long it takes men to get over a serious relationship. Mm. I met a guy about three weeks ago, and Mm -hmm. we had a really great connection. Mm -hmm. We were getting ready to introduce our kids, and then he got scared and said that he wasn't ready. We both were in a relationship that was toxic, and they lasted about three to four years. So I'm not going to wait around for this guy, but I'm also wondering when or what to do if he does come back. Um... Yeah, and Chris, you were great in Cincinnati. I love you. Oh, thanks. Cute. Cincinnati was fucking awesome. Uh, okay. First of all, I think the answer to your just general question about how long does it take for guys to get over a partner, I don't, I don't. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think it's time wise. I don't think it's different for women and men. But I think the men that, or at least personally, in my experience, I should say. Uh, I the the amount of time it takes for me to get over somebody is pretty much not always but pretty much directly correlated to mm. how soon I meet someone mm. that yeah. sort of like takes that person's space in my brain not fully not and not certainly not the same way but the same amount of interest and amorous feelings towards them like it tends to be either a long time that I can long for my previous relationship because it was, I haven't found a new one and it's like, yeah, fair. You think about what went wrong and da 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 da. Yeah. Uh, what you might have been able to do differently. But until, you know, once I would meet someone new, it was like, it was almost like to visualize it just like completely, like one person exits my brain and the other one is new. And then it's like, v- voila, as they say. I do think that it's bad that, um, I do think that it's not the best to do that, though. I think it's best to get over someone oh, for fully. Sure. But yeah. yeah, I definitely have done that. I, I'm, I'm almost exclusively. I mean, it's it's so hard. The reason I say that, though, is because it's kind of a litmus test if the guy's into you. Because like, True. it wouldn't matter how long it's been. If he's really into you, then like, yeah. his mind wouldn't still be clogged. Yeah, you're unless, right. Unless he's got like PTSD or something like mm-hmm. that from a previous relationship. That's different. That's a whole different That's story. That's different. If it's not that, I would agree he's just not that into you. Yeah, but if it's just about, you know, that relationship ended and it's all good and whatever, everybody just moved on and yet he's still thinking about his ex or, you know, still trep- has trepidation about with you because whatever, mm-hmm. it's probably, I never want to say definitely, but it's probably a sign that he is still hung up on the previous girl. Yeah. Yeah, or uh, may, I don't know. Maybe it's like a. I'm trying to think of. Uh, I, I shouldn't fucking throw this out there, but I don't know. Maybe he doesn't want you, his kids to meet you because then the kids will say something to the mom or something. You know, what that's I mean? always like, true. Yeah, I don't but, know. I shouldn't. But say would he that. let the relationship end if that was the right? right. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it just uh, got too if serious. If he comes or, back, it's, if you're saying that, it makes me think you have a reason to believe that. So if he does come back in one way or another, or circle back around somehow, whatever, uh, I think that you should just put it to him like that. You should just say, hey, look, I totally get it. Everybody has different experiences with different people, and sometimes it's longer to heal than other people. But like, if you are seriously interested in me, then it shouldn't be a problem mm-hmm. about your act. Like, it's just not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Issue, say that. You know? Yeah. yeah if, if, he, if he comes back... Well, Nicely. Say it, say it, it as like totally yeah. straightforward and, and warm as, as you can, because it's, it's, it's just true, and you don't have to hold hard feelings against him for that. But like, 
you know, you should put it into his head that that is your, your feel. Those are your feelings. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm sorry it wasn't funnier, but that's the truth. Wow. But I'm just saying. Do, oh. some, do some funny right now, and then we'll go on to the next Okay, one. Um, so what, do you guys... Um, <laughs> well, so... Oh, <laughs> no, it's all good, me. but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> all righty. So what's up with... <laughs> well, all right. sweating. Oh, here we go. We get a phone call. Hey, guys. I uh, just want to say thanks for doing what you're doing. Very enjoyable. Robot. I appreciate it. Robot. And I uh, love you guys. So nice my spot, question is, I'm seeing... Two females Oops. at the moment. Player. One is someone who likes to do the horizontal slam uh, multiple times a week, Player. and it's great. But we don't connect much on a uh, personal level. Player. Whereas the other one, we connect great on a personal level, have very good conversation. Nice guy. But... The horizontal slamming is limited to once a week or once every couple weeks. So, just in your opinion, what should I do? Uh, and in the past, I've went with the one that loved to do the slamming, mm. and she no. cheated on me. So, wow. Yeah, any advice would be great. What if Thanks, brother. This guy was fifty-five. All right, I actually have a specific thing to say about oh, hell this. Yeah. So let me go first. Okay. First of all, if you're doing that, I'm not I'm not moralizing, but like you should probably be in the open about it to some degree or another that they both know you're not exclusive with them. That's it. But beyond that, I would say if you actually need to make a choice and they because like they don't know that you're seeing both of them or if one of them put it to you, I know you're seeing other people, but I want to be exclusive, whatever. Hmm. I would say that if you actually need to make a choice, you should choose the one that you have the greater emotional connection with. And it's mm -hmm. not necessarily for an obvious reason. I think the reason really is, I know so, myself included, I know so many people who have had somewhere around two year relationships many times throughout the course of their life, then that relationship ends. And the reason that happens, I this is a thing I learned and I'm full of things I learned because I'm smart. Okay. I'm so one of the things I've part. learned was that Typically, that's around the time that the like love and lust chemicals exactly. wear off, and the high of meeting someone new and have being super like uh, physical with them and being I read that horizontal same GQ slamming article. whatever. Uh, I don't read GQ, so it wasn't that. I read that once. And, it was like fifteen years ago. Uh, those chemicals tend to wear off, and what you're left with is just the person across from you and how much you like them. Mm -hmm. And if you're two years in. And, you know, you're wondering like, oh, what's going on? Something's wrong. You know, I'm not really feeling the way I used to. That's very likely what's going on. Yep. But if it's someone you like a lot as a human being and you connect really well about other stuff beyond just like lust things, then you probably will not run into those. You might run into other issues, but you mm. won't run into that issue. Right. So if you plan on being with someone long term, absolutely, without a doubt, I would tell you to go with the one that you're emotion, more emotionally connected to. Yeah, I mean, look, you're saying that basically sex becomes the same for everyone after five years anyway, and so you should be with someone that you can have a conversation with. And that's how short and succinct you can possibly say it. But you took it a long way, and that's fine. But what I'm saying sometimes is... sometimes people want to know the reason. I know, but you, well, I guess, yeah, true. But the, but the guy is... Um, look, you're having sex once a week or once every two weeks. Me? No, him. I'm just kidding. He, he's, he's obviously, that's not really that bad. You that's, know? Yeah, but I, I mean, right, I agree. Okay. But it depends on the context. Like, is he like, please, can we just... You oh, know, well, like, definitely, yeah. But yeah. he didn't say that so sure. Yeah. Right. And then also, uh, is it good sex? If it's good sex mm -hmm. and she just doesn't want to have it that much, I still think that that's absolutely okay and that's good. Especially if you're going to live a life with this I, person. I agree. You know, if, if the, obviously the sex is probably better with the woman that he's having it a lot. I mean, I'm just, right, I'm just guessing. If he's having it a lot, she's into it. I bet it was probably, it's, probably, it's probably better. But sex is very, very important in a relationship. But it's also but super it's, individual and unique. everyone's unique. Yeah. Some people have lower libidos. It doesn't have anything to do with you. Yeah. So there's no reason to personalize mm, it. Sometimes yeah. it does, but generally you get a sense of when that's the case. Yeah. Um, Plus, squirting off's a lifesaver. I'm sorry? Squirting off's a lifesaver by yourself and your lung. And your lung. Oh, oh, oh. By your lonely. 
Squirting off. I'm, I'm throwing it throw in my mouth. Uh, but yeah, squirting off is a, is a lifesaver. Definitely so, don't say squirting off. Okay, but I'm just saying it's a lifesaver. What is Actually, is, in any context, but certainly that one. Okay, okay. Remember that fucking can, the co- this uh, soda squirt? Of course. It's bad. Oh, it's really bad. And moving on. Uh-uh. Oh, dude, you like squirt? Mm-hmm. Wow. I don't really drink any sodas, but yeah, I don't either. It's good. Remember Cactus Cooler? Worst. There is nothing worse. People used to actually. There was a like a urban legend that they yeah. had wood chips. In yep. There. Remember that? Yep, I do wow, remember that. So, so dumb. Whoa. That's how Groot came became. Hold on. Yeah, Cactus Cooler wood chips. At least oh, I'm knocking out there. I'm sure was. it's gonna show up something. Uh, I was you guys butthead, don't... butthead. The way you just said. Uh, so you guys don't like there. Cactus Cooler. No, no, but you do. A hundred percent you do. Because you I like really bad stuff. I haven't had one in years. But, but yeah. you loved it, right? When I was a kid, yeah. There you go, dude. I honestly don't think Come I Come from ever... the guy who likes Terrifier. Oh, look. I'm sure that's it. Why you should never drink Cactus Cooler. Because that's that wood chips. Go ahead. Mm-mm. Okay. No, 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 no. The worst. The worst. Thank you. I would that never was, hear something That was like an that. emergency for me. That. I needed that to be off. <laughs> so bad. Um. Anyway, dude. Cactus Cooler is terrible. Uh, the only thing cool about Cactus Cooler is the design of the can. Yeah, it is. And a it's can. so bad. And one time I saw a guy uh, drinking a Cactus Cooler in high school when I was in high school. And um, he sp- hawked a loogie in his Cactus Cooler because he was done with it. Like he had a little bit left, but he was done with it. And some guy said, uh, hey, what's up to him? And he goes, hey, man, here, you want the rest of my Cactus Cooler? And he took it and drank it and walked away and drank it. And I felt so bad. And I saw that happen. I don't like that. I don't like it either. And I know the two guys who did it. And I still know the two guys who did it. And I should tell them. Hey, look at that I'm great a can. That, that's the best can, dude. It's different now. It is different. And what's weird is that they updated it and it's still good. That is Usually true. when they update a can, it's that's terrible. That's the new one? Yeah. This, oh, that's, not that's bad. Good. Yeah. No, they made that's, it worse. That's, that's, that's terrible. They made it worse. But that one that's is great. the best. The OG Cactus Cooler? Oh, wait. See, My even... favorite cans are the old. Ooh, look at that old one. That's nice. The old Mr. Pib or the old RC Cola. Those are my two favorites. Mm, RC Cola is cool. <laughs> RC Cola is sick. No, no, no. Don't do that. You know what RC Cola is? It's sick. Dude, one time I was hanging out with a chick. <laughs> look at that Mr. Pib can. Come it's on right. now. But the new ones are ruined. Just like the, just like every other thing. Look at, now look at the new ones. Okay. Those are so dope. Now look at how oh, ugly that is. Yeah, that's terrible. Pib like, extra. come. That's terrible. Come on extra, dude you know pib extra he's not even a, a person pib anymore. pib dude dropped it off he's like diddy now dude i <laughs> um i i was hanging out with a chick once and she was really beautiful sorry she, is that dr all pepper right, you know i'm trying to say syrup it, yeah, it's obviously On a the joke upper right? left dr pepper des- dessert topping disgusting no, is, dude. no that's real oh my ew. god ew i'm ew. sorry i interrupted you but that is disgusting yeah, but you could have held it, but till till I was Dr. done. Dr. Pepper it, but, cherry, dude. Yeah. If you do that, if you use that, you're absolutely disgusting. Okay, mm-hmm. go ahead. I was hanging out with a chick who was beautiful. Like this was years ago, really beautiful, and she was like, and she said something. She goes, "Yeah, man, it was fucking sick." And I go, and I was like, "Oh, that's like the worst thing to do." Should have introduced her to me. I got the ick, dude. We would have had it. sick. We and I got we were the, on the couch, and I got the ick. We're on the couch together, and she goes, yeah, that was fucking sick. And I go, and my penis goes, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> now, You know what's the the way to do it, though? What? When you're going to do that. It's good to say it anyway, but it's best to say it when you go like this. That's fucking sick. I mean, okay? imagine she did that on the couch. Yeah. That's then then she would have said. Yeah, exactly. And, dude, and it was she was so hot. And, wah, wah, wah. Dude, and, and. Eddie Murphy and Boomerang. Who? What? What you're doing? Why? Because right? that? like that's not a reason to to not be interested in someone anymore. Was that a boomerang thing? Yeah, and boomerang. He, he was like the the biggest like player in Washington D.C. And at the very beginning of the movie, he's like with this extremely ludicrously beautiful woman. Yeah. And he pulls the sheets up, or she does. Yeah. And it reveals that she has like corn all over her feet. Okay. And he's just that's like disgusting. he's just like, <laughs> oh, you know, like Eddie Murphy. You know, isn't boomerang the movie with? Uh... Oh, that's where he plays two people. I actually don't know. I only saw boomerang is the one where he was like. Where he's like a dorky with braces, right? No, that's uh, 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 Bowfinger. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Bowfinger's right, okay. hilarious. That's right. Okay, so yeah. So wait, so she, also that lady who did that, the thing that says sick, she was so strong. I remember. That's fucking sick. No, was it a guy? <laughs> but she was so strong. Was I remember. Named Peter. <laughs> yeah, her name was Peter, and she played for the A's. <laughs> yeah, I think that was a guy. Uh, all right, next one. 
Matt and Chris, uh, love you guys, love what you do. My question is about uh, baby mamas. My daughter's mom lives in Massachusetts. Uh, we've had a mostly peaceful relationship over the last five years. That's good. Uh, I met someone last year and uh, ever since then it's been negativity and putting thoughts into my daughter's head about a replacement mommy. Nothing could be further from the truth. Oh, that's tough. Honestly, I'm getting tired and uh, dizzy from all the spin moves. Uh, just give me some advice, man. Uh, Chris, come to South Florida. I'd love to see you. Uh, love you guys. Later. I'll be there. <sighs> I want to. I'm, I'm working on trying to get to Fort oh, Lauderdale. Oh, got it. Um, one of my favorite places to perform. But... Um, I don't even know what to say to this guy. I can only give really vague, generic advice. You yeah. Know? Uh, That's I mean, rough, bro. I guess the only thing you can do is... Sometimes the people that do shit like that, it's like you... Even trying to broach the subject with them makes it worse because then they know mm. you're... Now you're noticing it and it's getting under your skin. Mm. And like their only remaining way to be present in your mind is to at least be under your skin. And that's a really bad place to be with someone uh so i would suggest if that's the kind of person you're dealing with you might have just honestly just talked to your daughter and like not even acknowledge it with with because he says he's tried stuff before mm. and if it's not happening like you i don't know how old your daughter is but over like, five that's what he said well he said that he's been oh, not right. with the mom for five years so that would be so weird if he said you know my daughter she's over five <laughs> uh uh, uh yeah, yeah I, I don't know though like i don't know anything about your ex-wife and or your daughter for that matter but i i i feel like that sounds like the kind of person that might take the the just the fact that you're noticing and getting upset that might make her take it up a notch yeah when you dicey this is dicey when you yeah when you react to somebody then it means that they got what they wanted sometimes so i don't know man i i just um this is a tough thing, man. This is why it's hard, right? This is why this kind of shit's hard. It's like when, you, you know, divorce and all that stuff. Or baby mama, I don't know, you weren't married. But um, I guess you should, you know, yeah. Maybe have a, a, a delicate conversation with your daughter, though. Because, like, you of course, can't, yeah. like, the worst thing to do, and this is the worst, and, and this is the worst. And no matter what happens with you and your, and your baby mom, baby dad, whatever it is, never fucking talk shit yeah. to the uh, to about the other person to your child that's horrible yeah that's the worst that's the worst thing you can do to the child so you know you can't control what she says but you can't control what you say um and so just don't do that but you can have a very delicate conversation with your daughter i think but i, I just you know it's it's a it's a rough thing dude just i'm sorry you're going her, through it just talk to your daughter about like this is not a replacement mommy situation this right. is a totally separate thing you'll never have right. a different relationship right. with your mom and i would never want you to anyway but what, that, that's what the mom is saying she's having a, a problem with like i don't want this to be a replacement mom right no i th what i gathered i don't know okay but well, what i gathered was when the mom is with the daughter mm -hmm. she's like talking about how oh, her daddy wants oh, a replacement oh, yeah, mommy okay, yeah. and is trying to do that yes know? then yeah you have to have the conversation with your daughter yeah yeah got it yeah that's rough bro jesus man that's sad yeah sucks for your daughter so much i know uh okay uh okay from new jersey hey so guys, a doctor my name's jordan i am a photographer a novice photographer i've just been the last couple months nice. oh. i'm really loving it taking Great. pictures cool and uh, the only thing I have a little trouble with is people because people make the best subjects and sometimes somebody has a really unique look and I want to ask them to take their picture yeah. for my portfolio and just to yeah. build experience. Um, but I'm a little hesitant because I think it can probably come off as creepy. Mm. Like if I just total stranger go up to somebody and ask to take their picture. That face. Yeah. Um, Especially with that angle. So I'm just wondering if you guys have any angle. advice Especially on the way he is. ways to ask <laughs> total strangers if I can take their picture in the least creepy way possible. Uh, by the way, that. my stuff is on Instagram. Hell Jofo yeah. underscore Hollywood. Okay, let's check J -O -F -O it out. J-O-F-O underscore Hollywood. All right, let's check it it's out. It's all my photos. Thanks, you guys. You're it. the best. Never we'll can... once until now has someone plugged themselves. Yeah, that's actually now. crazy. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, uh, and when so, you call in, don't do that. But but we'll look yeah, at his. Exactly, but, yeah. but so he uh, is a photographer. This is what you do. 
I'm going to judge your stuff right now, though, bro. But, okay, um, tell them what to do first. This is what you do. You, you walk up to the people with your Instagram. And you say, this is my stuff. I'm a photographer. Or just pictures you've taken. This is the stuff I do. I'd love to shoot you. Oh, that's a good idea. So uh, this way, it's not. it doesn't seem creepy. It's, you know. I also think, well, he treats the hell out of them, dude. Uh, I mean, same thing twice. Same thing three times. So, I mean, those are definitely wild. Damn. Uh, Sagrani. What I would say also to Sigrani. that's great but to be clear to be like if you want yeah a little bit more to say you could say like uh, before you say anything you could be like look obviously feel free to say no but da, right da, 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 da. yeah right yeah that's good go 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 to some of them feel free to say no Sigrani. but like it's not grainy it's, it's pixelated it's, it's also grainy it's, it's not grainy grainy is a film thing grainy uh, I mean, it's a real grain effect. Eh, sit, novice. Um, a Game Boy, dude. Go back. <laughs> a Game Boy. Took a picture of the Game Boy. Sit, novice. Wait, dude. that looks so much like a Game Boy. That's it a, is. It is. It's the it's the phone case. Oh wow! <laughs> Fucking old guy over here, dude. Okay, wow. Yeah, I'm such an old guy. Dude. Wow, that's of nothing. So, look, keep going. <laughs> uh, execute. See, that's the best picture you took. Yeah, it is. And it's yeah, of people, yeah. just like you said. Yep, there you, you gotta go. You take pictures of people's faces. Yeah, just sh walk up to them, show them this. Don't show them that one. Show them this, <laughs> and just be like, "Look, I take pictures. This is stuff I do. Can I shoot you?" Yeah, that's it. I think that's the least creepy thing. I do think with the that's that's a good picture. That is a good picture. I think I do think that with the grainy stuff, it is a little bit creepy. If you show them, show them the less grainy, grainy stuff. Show them stuff with. There we go. There we go. Someone's face in it. There we period. go. Period. Yeah. There we go. Not that one. Your face counts, I guess. But no, don't, that's, that's a selfie. That's a that's that not is a, that is indeed a selfie. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Well, we look. You got something. You there you go. There you go. One. There you go. Show them that one. Everybody wants to look cool. That person looks cool. That's Show a good them one. one. That's a good one too. That's cool, dude. That's great. You, you, honestly, the ones with the people are the ones that are good. Of course. So so but he, show he them. says he knows that. No, I know. Right, I know that. So so show them that and and walk around with pictures and be like, this is the stuff I want to see. Yeah. This is the stuff I want to do. Do you mind if I shoot your picture? And if they say yes, great, do it. If I think say, you'd make a great subject, be complimentary of them without being like a, a weirdo person. It, uh, and yeah. And then if they say no, scream out your loss and run away. And yeah, something like that. I think it's great. Good job. Yeah, keep going though. Running You're, with all his gear. <laughs> and his Game Boy. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, that's cool. I'm glad you're having a good time doing that. Man, people need to find, you know, you don't need to find your passion. You don't, like, like we talked about this a long time ago. I think maybe you said it on the solo episode. We were talking about you don't need a passion. Oh, yeah. Which I right, agree. Right, yeah. Um, because I watched this whole episode because I'm a good person. I'm a good <laughs> brother. Um, but uh, yeah, you don't need to find your passion. But if you did, that's great. And right now it's a hobby and that's cool. But it, you know, you never know when a hobby turns out to be an actual thing. You build your portfolio and that's it. It's on and popping. Dude, do exactly what I said. Do exactly what I said about the thing. I also and that be good for you. One last thing about mm -hmm. you, Jordan. I think that there was something early on in what you were saying that mm -hmm. I really appreciated. And I think more people should take take note of this. He said, I'm a photographer mm -hmm. without caveat. Mm -hmm. Then he continued to, to explain more, but uh, it wasn't a caveat. It was right. just more of a description. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, I'm a novice photographer because yeah. he just started. That is a good attitude. He yeah, it is a good attitude. wants to be a photographer. And the only way to be a photographer at, at the beginning mm -hmm. is to say you are one yep. and take pictures. It's affirming, yeah. Affirm that yourself. You have to just believe. It's like, you know, all the time in LA, I hear people that are like, you know, I'm trying to be a writer i've got yeah. like a few it's like no no don't do you that. are a writer you are a writer I you know agree. 100% uh agree. you don't have to get paid a hundred grand per script to be actually called a writer that, 100%. that's like a bullshit bar you made up yep you know that's why uh, i that's why i walk around and say i'm a singer i i sing all the time and it doesn't matter i don't get paid for it in a way i do because i sing almost every podcast uh i put a sign up right in the front window advertisement right <laughs> in the front window, and all of a sudden success coming out of the blue wow wow terrible there we go the so our be on the cutting edge on the precipice of us releasing lifeline luxury patreon.com slash lifeline luxury we drop june 4th um two episodes a month or uh, uh over 30 minutes at least two episodes a month yeah. uh i am on tour crystalia.com if you have a question go to watchlifeline.com or call 213-973-8095 you want one one-on-one -on -one advice with your boy that would be me Go to mattdelia.com and get the help you need. And lifelinemerch.com is where all the hot merch is. You get that purple, 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 yeah. And, uh, yeah. And also leave a comment, dude. That really helps us. Leave a comment for the algorithm. Share it with your friends. Try to get people involved in the show. We love you, man. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs>